feet. Jesus and his disciples gathered together for a special Passover meal. Jesus knew he would be leaving them soon. Can you turn the page? After supper, Jesus removed his outer clothing. He wrapped a towel around his waist. Then he filled a bowl with water. Jesus washed and dried the disciples' feet one by one. Then it was Peter's turn. He said to Jesus, Lord, you should never wash my feet. Jesus answered, I must wash your feet for you to be a part of my kingdom. Then he said to them all, as I have washed your feet, you must wash other people's feet. By doing this, Jesus showed his friends how to love and serve each other. And he's washing your feet. Jesus washed his disciples' feet. Did you know that Jesus washed his disciples' feet? No. in this house. Oh, Joshua no. really wants to ask you a question. Can you come over please? Oh, okay. All right. I'm just going to hop into my aeroplane and I'm going to just fly over to your place. I'll be there in two minutes. Okay? Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'll hop into my aeroplane. <laughs> having a little bit of a problem, are we? Yeah. Okay, so what's the problem? It's um, I'm spilling everything and breaking everything. Okay, and how do you feel about this? Um, not really good. Not really good. Okay, you know what? We always have problems. There's so many problems in the world. I mean, people are getting sick, people are dying, people are getting bullied. 
people are not really happy, people are really, really sad now. And even the COVID-19, you know, a big, problem. big problem for us because we are told we have to wear face masks now, isn't it? And I don't think everybody's happy. So there's so many problems, but you know what? Even with all the problems, we never quit on God. Say it again, we, we never, we never quit on, on God. So you know what we do? Whenever we have a problem, what who do we go to? We go to God. So even when you spill the water, what do you do? I go to God. Even when you hit the flower bed, what do you do? And when you hurt yourself, what do you do? So we never get tired of going to God because people can be the problem, you can be the problem, and things can be the problem, but God is always there to solve the problem for us. Isn't it, Olga? Yes. Yeah. He's always good. He's always good. And you know, sometimes even with God, when we go to God with our problems, sometimes we don't really know what He's saying because sometimes God is silent. What do we do? We keep on going. So what did we say is a big rule? Never quit on God. Okay? All right. So uh, do you want to say a prayer for us, Joshua? Yes. Okay. How do you feel right now before we pray? Fantastic. <laughs> okay. So let's pray, Joshua. Pray for us. Thank you, Lord, that you have healed our hearts. And thank you that, yeah, um, that all these past years um, you've making our feel been making our lives much easier and that we are uh, we are destroying the coronavirus and we all look beyond yourself. Amen. 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 So we want to say to all the beautiful boys and girls, we love you all, we miss you all, and uh, we know that everybody is having some little problems, some people big problems, and the problem might be you want to come to church, but we know God is in control, and that we never quit on God. So let's say together, Joshua, never quit.